Cactus Day decoration. So. Finally on my way home. I am so I am so happy. I was gonna stay and do two hours of overtime, but I have such a freaking migraine right now. It makes zero amounts of sense. This migraine has been raging all day long. And I just want to scream at the top of my lungs. So. I am going home. And earlier I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I don't really see a lot of people basically talking about. Or maybe people are talking about it and I just have not um, searched it. But I want to talk to you guys about night sweats. Now, for about the last maybe 10 years, I've been having like severe night sweats where I will wake up in the middle of the night and I am like dripping in sweat. All right, hold on, you guys. Zayla's calling. All right, you guys. So, where were we before Zayla called? I believe I was at the point where I was speaking about having night sweats. And I've been having night sweats now for about I'm gonna say 10 years I've been having night sweats and mostly my night sweats come I'm gonna say around my menstrual and so before I get my menstrual I just wake up and I am like literally drenched I mean drenched like I have sweat pouring from under my breast area. I have sweat pouring from inside of my um my crease, my elbow crease. I have sweat just like like everywhere, like literally everywhere, my neck, everywhere. The bed is like soaking wet. And the first time that happened. I mean, I was really, really shocked because I was thinking to myself, like, what the hell is happening? Because I remember hearing about, like, people basically combusting. I think I'm saying that cor correct, where they basically, like, catch fire. And I'm just like, is this the opposite of people catching fire? Like, people, you know, basically, like, drowning in their own goddamn sweat? Like, that's how bad it kit sometimes and I mean as time has gone on it's not like I get them every month I do not get them every month but I get them more than I would like to get get them let's just say that and at first I was associating my night sweats with premenopause and I'm just finding out that there's actually a test that you can take and it will let you know whether you're 
premenopausal or going through menopause or whatever the situation so i would go to my doctor and i would tell her like oh my god like you know i'm going through menopause like i have to be going through menopause and she's looking at me like miss bright you're not going through menopause you're too young to go through menopause blah 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 i just said in the third and so i just assumed that okay i have two children they say the least amount of children you have the um sooner you'll go through menopause and so I truly thought that that was like the situation that I was going through that, you know, just because I was young, that that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, going, not going through menopause. And so here it is 10 years later, you know, I, you know, of course, I'm still experiencing the same night sweats, but the difference between now and 10 years ago is well let me not say that because just recently i had a night sweat and i did i, I had just gotten off my men's shoe like maybe four days ago so before i would get the night sweats either before my men's shoe or during my men's shoe but in the last 10 years, of course, naturally, you know, our bodies change and, you know, different things is going on. And so even with my migraines, like I would get, I would get migraines regularly. Like it's different things that affects my migraine. But when I get my migraine during my menstrual, pretty much it will come before my menstrual or will come after my menstrual. And now... No, it will come before my menstrual or during my menstrual, just like the night sweats. But now my my migraines are like all the time. Like they're all the time. So not only am I getting night sweats after my menstrual, I'm having like severe migraines during, before, and after my menstrual so it's it's constant now and so i need to really do you know some research and find out like or maybe i just needed to speak to my doctor because i have not um spoken to my doctor about my night sweats and you know i'm the type of person like i like to get information on my own so i will put some information up um for you guys, you know, to read for anyone who might be going, you know, um, through these, having these night sweats and that may be concerned or might just be like embarrassed to, you know, speak to other people about them. And so, yeah, but all right. Alcohol consumption, that's going to be a no for me I don't drink a lot of alcohol anxiety now that can be something that triggers my night sweats hypothyroidism is another thing that is a possibility for myself cancer God willing hopefully not please no certain medications that is definitely a no because I do not take medications whatsoever. Menopause, that is still to be determined. I'm still having menstruals and bacterial infections. Uh, I'm not sure. Nerve problems, mm, I mean, possibly. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna just say no. Low blood sugar, again, I just had blood tests done. They did not say I had low blood sugar, so, yeah. I don't know. I have not heard a lot of family members speak about night sweats. I have not heard any of my friends speak at night about night sweats. And so, pretty much, I feel like I'm going through these night sweats by myself, even though I know I'm not going through them by myself i know there's a lot of other people who you know may be going through night sweats and i did speak to a few of my co-workers which they didn't go into it um you know a whole lot but they said they well pretty much they spoke about having 
um hot flashes so it wasn't so much the night sweats it was the hot flashes that happens at night but mine's is different because i don't have hot flashes i'm always um hot regardless of what so there's nothing flashing my whole life is a flash of hotness and that's just it but these night sweats is something different like they are different different like literally my whole bed side the side that i'm on it be soaking and I'm just like, where the hell am I getting all of this liquid from? You know, I mean, of course I drink water all day, but I mean, that's a lot of damn liquid to be getting rid of at one time. And so I need to find out what the hell, like what is going on? What's happening with my body? And so if there's anyone else who's watching this and if you go through night sweats, let me know, you know, when it started how long you've had it how long possibly i'll be having these night sweats you know something you know i mean i know all of our bodies are different and so what i might be going through you know it may be different from what someone else is going through or you know however long i may have it someone may not have it as long as i you know that that i would have them and so i know our bodies are different but i'm just trying to like figure out like what the hell is going on but i don't know i don't know ladies but or men because i don't even know if men get night sweats i mean i'm not even sure like about that like i've never heard a man speak about whether you know they get night sweats or not so this is just like you know a mystery because i don't hear a lot of people speaking about it and maybe like i said because you know people are embarrassed to speak about it i don't Maybe it's associated with age or maybe it's associated with some type of illness or I don't know. Anyway, later. Mwah. Love you guys.